Today's video is going to be about the EVAP system on this car and the solenoid is located right here, easy to get access to. Let's turn it on and I can feel the pulses. Now since this solenoid is activated on and off at a very fast pace, that will mean probably we're not going to see 12 volts here because the voltmeter is slow in reading the signal. Okay, we've got almost 7 volts when the solenoid is not on. This is also a way for the computer to test if we've got resistance at this connector and if the solenoid is connected. So let's turn it on and see. It's gonna read an average between 0 and 12 and obviously the duty cycle is a little bit above 50% and it looks like on this car this is the only electronics from this system which is controlled by the computer directly. So the second component is going to be the charcoal canister which is located on the driver's side under the rear wheel arch cover. I already removed this cover a little bit to double check if the charcoal canister is here. But first let's remove this solenoid from here. So we've got this line here which connects to the intake manifold next to the throttle body and this line comes from the charcoal canister. Now if the solenoid clicks and the control is okay, this doesn't mean that the solenoid will not leak. So we need to do a vacuum test. So let's find the right adapter. So on this solenoid, this thinner nozzle should hold the vacuum because this is the side which is connected to the intake manifold and it's always exposed to the vacuum from the engine. So you can see the solenoid is not able to hold the vacuum here. So this engine is going to always suck in those gasoline vapors or extra air. So we are done testing the solenoid. Now around the wheel arch cover, we've got a bunch of plastic nuts. And the canister is out. This is the part number if you need it. Now this canister is quite a simple device. This is the point through which the air will come in when the engine is sucking the gasoline vapors. And on the bottom here we've got the hoses, one is going to go to the engine bay, to the solenoid and one will go to the fuel tank in order to take out the vapors. So let's disconnect these hoses. It's pretty impossible to mix up these hoses because one is thinner, one is thicker. And if I apply the vacuum, it will not hold. So let's obstruct this hose which goes to the charcoal canister. And now let's see. the line will hold the vacuum. So in this way we know that this line from the canister to the solenoid it's sealed. So now we know that on the canister this smaller nozzle should deliver the gasoline vapors. Now let's see where that second hose connects and we need to go under the car right next to the differential on the driver side. On the left side we've got the hose which connects to the fuel tank for the fuel delivery. And then on the other side of the differential, on the passenger side, you're gonna see the check valve. That one is responsible with the air pressure inside the fuel tank. A lot of you guys ask me what to do when you find pressure inside the fuel tank when you release the fuel cup. Well, that's the valve responsible for that. Next to it is the fuel return line. Okay, so finally the valve is out. All I had to do is to disconnect this hose from here. And then I was twisting and pulling at the same time. It took a while, but finally it's out. This is the part number if you need it. And now what makes this valve unique is that it will allow the air to go through both sides. If you apply a little bit of vacuum, it will not go through. However, if you apply more, then the air will be able to pass. And that's how it will regulate the pressure inside the fuel tank. Now, before I end this video, I want to show you what's inside this charcoal canister. Because I've got another one, so why not? I'm going to make an incision around here. So on top here we've got a spring which will press on that charcoal. Now let's cut it on the other side. And here we've got that special charcoal. Now this is the part number of the solenoid. And this is the part number of the charcoal canister. Okay guys, so that was it about the EVAP system on this car. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Stay safe, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.